everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and I'm about to just go and do a moto vlog, but I wanted to kind of uh, glaze over something. I haven't ridden this bike in a while, and I just wanted to kind of uh, go over it <laughs> just a little bit before we start going uh, for a moto vlog. Da -da 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 -da. Look, it's the KP Mini. It's been so long since I've ridden this. And this is one of the things I want to fix. I want to put some different fluid in here so it's not so smushy. I mean, you can tell it smushes all the way up to the top with the, there's no line forming anywhere down here. Then I need to clean up some of the under engine stuff. Dirty, stock carb still, but jetted up. Got the, the rear set back here with the KP mini exhaust. Did the Fender Eliminator with the stop with the generic one. Connected the tail lights. Um, I kind of want to get the seat recovered because this is starting to turn pink. I don't know why. And then here is the shifter side. Uh, notice that the lever is on this side instead of over here where it used to be. So now it's GP shift, so it shifts uh, backwards um, or race bike style. And of course, the paint. Oh, and then the, the cool levers, right? And then my ram mount. I really need to clean this thing. It's been sitting for a while. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, flip to the helmet and get this give, give this a ride. Well, this time, when we start the ride, I cleaned my optics off. My last video where I was doing the night ride, I forgot to clean the glass off, so it looked kind of weird. Did you see that guy like really fly up on me or is that just me? And he looks at me like, oh no, why are you driving less than the speed limit in the slow lane? Okay, downshift is up. See, I gotta remember. I really have to like pay attention to what I'm doing on this bike because it's GP shift. Really throws me off. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, go. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. We made a decision. So, it's been a while since I've ridden this bike. I really enjoy riding it. Um, but I'm telling you, I still have PTSD from when I crashed. Ah. Uh, I kind of wanted to go over, uh, I've seen an uptick in KP Mini traffic as far as uh, talking goes. Um, Facebook messages, uh, in the forums, uh, literally everywhere. And I can't tell you enough about how much I like this bike. Now, I have to go over some things about the previous videos I've had with this bike. Now, I got it, brand new. And then, I think I didn't do hardly any mods to it, uh, except for like maybe a, an inbox delete. Uh, and then I went to the shop because I decided to do my valve timing, or not my valve timing, my uh, valve clearance by myself. And I made the mistake of when I did the valves, that I didn't tighten the, the screw, the set screw for the timing all the way. And then driving in the woodlands, I over revved it and then ended up just taking it to Texotic and like, look, fix it, please. And they fixed it. I was very lucky that worse didn't happen because the screw came off and it could have landed and went inside the crank or something like that and done something like completely crazy and shredded itself or grinded or broke something. But it didn't. So, amen to that. I think really the only thing I'm like disappointed in this is the reason why I have to use my cell phone. Um, it may be minor to some people. Um, it, it's minor to me. Um, but I don't like how the gas tank, when it is empty, I still have a little over half a tank left. 
Like I can go literally a hundred miles, not a hundred, another fifty miles or so when I'm empty. I've literally drawn, drove like, what? Yeah, I've driven like forty or fifty miles after the blinking empty light stopped blinking. Um, and yeah, that's disappointing. Because, I mean, of all the gauges on your bike, that should be the one that works the best. Now, if you look right now, I'm about six miles per hour off speed to GPS, which is pretty normal. But sometimes it'll vary between that and 20 miles per hour. I mean, there's a pretty big variance in the speeds. It's definitely not accurate, or accurate as it could be. I'm a little bit sad that more parts haven't come out for this bike in the year that I've had it. Um, I pretty much have every single part except for the, the the triple tree, which I have. I just haven't put it on yet. I have every single mod that KP makes for this bike, including I painted it a different color, which I want to make it orange, but that's a whole other story. Overall, it's reliable. Um, I'm in Texas, and I drove it in the summer, and it's blazing hot outside, and drove in an hour and a half traffic, and she ran pretty good. I couldn't tell she was overheating or not. I mean, she is air-cooled and everything, but, you know, no bad things happened. Um, and really the only thing bad happened is stuff that I did, like, for example, uh, not loctiting things. Oh, yeah, sorry, the float bowl on the carburetor came off and that was before we did the, the rejetting so it was natural like that and then there were a few other people who reported the same thing uh, one person in particular their float bowl completely came off while they were riding so for those new kp mini owners out there be sure to uh, take your float ball off and loctite it down if you can that would be cool if you want to make sure that nothing falls off or anything like that because that would be bad anybody I know there no and, and, and honestly I don't know where I'm going right now I'm just driving down the road now let's go over the good things I, I did lower the handlebars though so and then I did drop it if you look right here about an inch or so to give me a little bit more lower of a stance in the front it's probably not a good idea for handling uh if you have the stock pegs because they're so low but 150 cc vertical motor i mean for oil flow for one thing it's a great idea um four stroke motors don't really like to sit sideways but they can if you design them right but as far as oil flow a vertical motor is best 150 cc's first of all so you're already getting more power than a grom or any other competitor out there so far that has a bike that's been released in the american market a five-speed transmission which after the first uh, few months after the first month and a few oil changes it's sh she's shifting like a dream now i can get into neutral easily it's not like um where the other clone people are talking about how it's very difficult to find neutral that's not here it's got a two-year warranty which i had some little minor defects on the tail light and a couple other things little minor defects that uh, didn't affect the functionality of the bike but they replaced it on for me and i didn't have to pay a dime i just had to leave the bike there at the dealership i'm assuming if you don't have a dealership then uh, they'll mail you the part it's reliable it gets good gas mileage i mean it says here 3,000 miles but i changed the attack uh, i changed the console and the only reason i changed the console is because i wanted to see if it fixed the speedometer maybe i had a defective one no it didn't work it, it was exactly the same i don't know why i thought it would change but it didn't the bike has an upright sitting position so it's easy to ride and when I say easy to ride, trust me, you could, I rode this thing to Galveston, and everyone knows where North Houston is to Galveston, it's not a, a short ride there. My butt certainly didn't hurt as much as my buddy who drives the CSC 250. The 
integrated turn signals into the body, which by the way are deactivated from the beginning, and the turn signals are deactivated in the tail of the bike, which is ridiculous if you ask me, but whatever. Um, so you have to go in and change those, but it's not like it's super hard. It's just changing some wires and unhooking some other stuff. It, it's all because they needed to pass dot safety tests. I guess there has to be a certain amount of space between the lights or something, or I don't know. Now this isn't a full review, this is just uh, me talking about, I haven't talked about it in a while. And uh, due to the escalation of people asking questions, I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Um, I would go ahead and change the fork oil out if you can, if you have the capability to. Something more stiffer, because it's like super smushy. And if anyone can find a, a replacement shock in the back that has a clevis 30 millimeter wide end, um, that's maybe 250 millimeter. Or so. Then, uh, yeah, let's do that. I just saw some people I know, so I am turning around right now. Where are we going? What's up? Okay, well I guess I'm riding with a group now. <laughs> this is the guy with the Falcon. This is the automatic. 250cc sport bike looking looking sport bike which is actually a cruiser but anyways yeah so well, I forget even what I was talking about before I guess we're going to the gas station yep we're going to the gas station He wants food! Okay, well I guess I'll conclude that video. But yeah, that's really... Oh, the integrated lights, they're awesome. Uh, and then what else would I change? The handlebars you need to change. Um... If you do the rear set, then you have to do, just whenever you do stuff on this bike, lock tight it. It's not like it shakes a lot, but it needs some work. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go, guys. So if you if you have any if you have anything to if you have any comments below or you have any questions about the KP Mini, then do me a favor and leave a comment below. Anyways, I will talk to everyone later. Thank you. See you in the next one.